Hey guys, uh, before we start, here's an update on the video about fluorine ammonic acid. I already made some footage of this super acid, so don't worry, I hope that I'll manage to put together at least one video about it until uh, the end of the autumn. Meanwhile, you may support me on Patreon. Uh, your support helps making new videos a lot and increases their quality drastically, as you might have noticed. Uh, so today I'll show a couple of archive videos that I made a long time ago but haven't used anywhere yet. Uh, the first one is the reaction of beryllium with liquid chlorine. This reaction proceeds at a temperature of more than 500 degrees Celsius. That's why I heated a little piece of beryllium before adding it to liquid chlorine. The white smoke exhaling from the test tube represents extremely toxic beryllium chloride. Its maximum permissible concentration is one thousandth of a milligram per cubic meter. The next reaction is the one with barium and bromine. Uh, these are two elements that are highlighted in the title of a popular TV series Breaking Bad, so I thought it would be fine to combine them together. For this reaction I cut a small piece of barium off of an ingot. Unlike a well-known reaction of bromine and aluminum, the barium reaction cannot be initiated at room temperature. That's why I heated barium the same way I heated beryllium for the previous reaction with a gas torch. Also, you often ask me in the comments where the reaction of hafnium with rhenium heptoxide is. Such an exotic term might was announced in the video about rhenium heptoxide. And now I present to you that very video. The lemon yellow crystals inside this ampule represent rhenium heptoxide. To perform a reaction with uh, half new metal powder, I weighed uh, some stoichiometric amounts. The temperature the heat generated as a result of this reaction must exceed tungsten melting point, so I decided to set this termite on fire on a pure tungsten plate. It doesn't look like tungsten melted. 
Is it because of the small quantity of the termite? Of a temperature, this reaction simply doesn't exceed 3400 degrees Celsius? Let me know what you think in the comments. In one of the previous videos I showed you some reactions of liquid oxygen with various metals. This is a liquid oxygen reaction with yttrium on a nickel plate. I chose this reaction because the combustion temperature of yttrium is of the highest among other metals. It's quite interesting that neither titanium nor magnesium burned through the nickel plate. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, see you in the next video.